with the program so complicated I've actually had to print this out for myself this is our events program um, I would say that we had a, a, a wonderful series of speakers but as one of the first ones is me I really can't say that but on the 26th um, of January it's a Thursday here at the museum I'm actually working with a colleague talking about the platoon uh, this is a book written in the 1930s by a man called Joseph John Stewart a private in the London regiment who served from 1916 to 1918 and he sort of semi-fictionalised his accounts of serving with 13th London but he gave us enough clues to work out what he was talking about and he bases everything on reality sadly for him when he tried to get it published there was no interest in other ranks memoirs so it sat in a cupboard until it turned up I was given it and now it's out as this book which also tells you how to research your military ancestors um, the other person we've got then that follows Thursday the 15th of March rather better known than myself is Martin Bell MP OBE the, the broadcaster and his talk is called War Zone Reflections um, as we remember him the man in the white jacket getting shot while reporting in former Yugoslavia this promises to be an extremely good evening and I, I think we might be swamped on that evening which is again Thursday the 15th of March Saturday the 28th of March which is a different day a different kind of thing although we've got evening lectures this is daytime and we're doing a walking tour called from the trenches to the Taliban looking at the whole area local training areas looking at first of all trenches then right through to a modern forward operating base as used in Afghanistan so we're looking at the military heritage of deep cut and when we come back to the museum after a, perhaps a bit of a barbecue or a sandwich lunch then we've got a talk which is called horsemen in no man's land nice link in then obviously to war horse my colleague David Kenyon talking about the reality of cavalry in the first world war then on Thursday the 17th of May fighting the bomb makers by Chris Hunter who was a former member of the Corps again link then to Afghanistan then on Saturday the 19th of May we've got the military ancestry roadshow another Saturday event this time asking people to bring in military memorabilia postcards pictures anything they don't quite understand and a small team of experts will tell you what we've got not what it's worth but what the value is to you as a member of the family or possibly what the medals can tell you about someone's service and that promises to be the, the first in a series of these things that we're running called Military Estate Roadshow Mars and then on Thursday the 5th of July the Iranian Embassy Siege many of us remember seeing that on television live with Rusty Furman who was a member of the SAS team obviously now left the, the, uh, the SAS can now talk about his experiences so we go from the Iranian Embassy through War Horse right the way back to the heritage of the local area we've got journalists and we've got the First World War I think it should give us a nice spread and that's only the first half of the year there's more to come